This is a story of a wee lion called Tam. Tam is a well-known face throughout the savannah, but as a result of having piss-poor patter and a non-existent charm with the ladies, Tam has been banished from the pride, and he is forced to hunt alone for the remainder of the evening. Tam is in for a rough night. He has now adopted a strategic position overlooking the savannah, a great spot. To his right a cloak rack, and to his left a large male immersed in feasting on his catch. Tam is invisible to the naked eye. Tam is cunning. Throughout the course of the evening, wildebeest gradually migrate closer to the bar, and with a proud grin in Tam's face, he licks his lips. He sees his plan unfold before his eyes. He now has to become ready. Ready to make a move at any given moment. But as Tam creeps ever closer to the herd, the wildebeest become agitated, and Tam is forced to freeze in his stride. He tries to blend into the background, but with his pint still sloshing around in his hand with momentum, the wildebeest sense his presence. So they pick up their jackets and bags and evacuate to the surrounding tables. Things aren't going Tam's way at all. But unfazed by his recent failure, Tam the urban lion prowls on, and by this point, not in a straight line. But at last, Tam manages to isolate a new herd, and more precisely a vulnerable individual within the herd, Katie Baxter, a slightly overweight specimen, but still not too hard in the eyes. His mind is made up, and so he makes his move. He darts around the perimeter scanning for an easy passage in, and he's found one. So Tam composes himself, undoes his top button and begins his pursuit. His pace quickens, but this causes Tam to collide with an unsuspecting giraffe. But worst of all, he stands in the giraffe's brand new cream shoes. But Tam says he's sorry and the giraffe understands and he says it's fine mate, on you go. See you later. Despite all the commotion, the wildebeest have taken no notice of Tam and he is already breathing down their necks and he's sniffing their hair a wee bit as well. He's here! And to the wildebeest's horror, Tam slams his hands on the table and he says Hi, my name's Tom, but you already know who I am, and you know I'm a fool, but can you understand, I'm just a lonely Banished by his friends, by his clan Oh darling, take my hand Then she rose from the rest and looked at time and away The told him in an instant, tomorrow's a happier day Cause his den won't be cold tonight And maybe never again Then he gave her his hand and said Drink with me and stay Then she took his hand They slept outside And they witnessed a meteorite And wished for all the same things Then he slept the hand Into the horror of Tam His darling wee Katie's a man Drink another can 
for fuck's sake, ma. Which way the meat into veg? She says we'll just go fishing instead. Ah, Tom, drink another can. 